Hello and welcome to Bunker Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series, and today we're looking at the equalizer page. So let's get into it. Okay guys, here is the equalizer page uh, of the M32 edit. Uh, I've decided to zoom in for this one so you guys can get a good look at what's going on. We don't need to see anything else. So first, I want to talk about this low cut section, which we briefly touched on in the config page. Um, so you can go back and look at that, but I'll just address it here. So firstly, a low cut is something that cuts out the low frequencies. This can be also cause, called a uh, high pass filter because it's letting the highs pass through the filter. So here you can turn it on and off. Uh, you can also turn the whole equalizer on and off. That's different to low cut, that only applies to the, these four bands. Um, you can change that, change the frequency at which the low cut starts. Also change that down here. That's basically that. There's other controls for it in the config page. So go back and check out that video if you want to see it. Um, but then yeah, we got our EQ enable page, a reset mode. Um, so when you hit that, a little alert comes up asking if you want to reset all the bands. Hit OK. So I'll like just throw in a bunch of random stuff, hit reset, okay, there we go. Then we've got each band, so you've got a select button at the top, then you've got what kind of EQ you want, so if I bring this down, uh, you've got a PEQ and a VEQ, very much the same, as you can see the VEQ just is a bit wider there, um, but essentially it's the EQ that cuts in, it can go anywhere in the middle. You've also got a low shave, which comes in from the bottom, or a low cut. As you can see there, the up and down doesn't matter on that one. You've also got a high shave. Hi, sorry. It's a shelf, not a shave. I just, when I see the V, I think it's a high sh shave. And it's, you know, shaving off the highs, but generally it's called a high shelf. Uh, and you got a high cut as well. Let's take that back to PEQ. I'll talk about the uh, the shelves when I get up to the top end, because it's something that you'll more apply up there. Here you've got the gain, which you can see up and down. Uh, generally, when we're using EQ, we like to stay sort of below like 10. We like to use you know, little precise cuts. Uh, here you can use your scroll wheel to change the Q. Um, also known like as uh, like an octave ratio, so that changes how uh, wide you let it attack. And that's down here. We've also got the frequency, of course. How high or low it goes. Pretty simple. Now that's the same for all of these here. You know, low, low, mid, high, mid all got the same settings. Depending on what mode it in, is in, you might not have some settings. For example, low sh shelf. Um, Q does something different. Okay, for whatever reason it's not adjusting, but generally that changes how sharp the shelf is. Uh, here it's quite sharp. I'm not sure why it's not adjusting there. Uh, you will see it adjust on the desk though. That is something that affects it. Uh, yeah, so high shelf starts at the back, always, and then comes in, depending on what frequency you want. Uh, just different to a low cut, or a, or a high cut. A cut is different because it always is at the bottom, at the bottom as well, so you can't, so there's no quality change. No Q change on a cut, uh, only uh, frequency, there's no gain either. Doing that doesn't change it at all. Just come in and out. Uh, and that's that. Uh, you can change this. Okay. So you can change whether you want it before or after. You can change it to a spectral analyzer. So instead of it being bars, it's sort of it's over time uh, as well. Uh, so it 
the frequencies and move through it. Um, you can see all, there's all sorts of uh, RTAs and spectral analyzers um, that you can view, which I'll get to in a later video um, on the mains and, and the meters tab and stuff. Uh, hopefully that's sort of addressed um, how to use this and all the questions there. Equalizer is a very useful tool, and I'll get uh, I'll, I'll talk about Equalizer a lot when I do any mixing. When I talk about any of the mixing I do and recording, it's such an important tool to use. Uh, so when I do studio walkthroughs and you know when you mix along with me, I'll show you and I'll, I'll, all the work that I do on it. It's it's one of the, the main tools I think. Hope you learned lots from this video and it was really helpful. Drop a comment down below if you have any more questions. Maybe we can all help each other out a bit. I will get into lots more equalizer tutorials and knowledge that'll help uh, with all sorts of things. Always happy to hear your questions and comments. Um, so drop a like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I do other videos and uh, go do some audio.